Today, I will show you a bato and noto, which is drawing the sword and seizing the sword. This is in response to a request I received from Chris to do noto. Hi, I'm Kazu, an actor, a samurai sword fight choreographer and trainer from Japan. I teach Japanese sword fighting as a way to improve your body and mind harmony. Everyone is welcome. Today, we are going to practice at the Tabata station in Yamanote Line. Take the middle stance like this. Bring out the sword a little by placing the thumb on the tsuba. It's called koiguchi o kiru. Put your right hand on the tsuka and move your tsukagashira to your center and up. At the same time, pull your saya or seat down, bringing your shoulder and abdomen back. This is to avoid cutting your shoulder. Then, bring it forward like this. Keep it centered. Return your saya to your side as your right hand comes down. When your right is in front of your tendon, your left hand grasps the tsuka. This is a seigan no kamae. Your left hand is in front of your tendon and the tip of the sword is at your invisible opponent's throat level. I will now show you a noto technique called Yokonoto. It is a horizontal style. Lower your katana so it is parallel to the ground. Then swing it to your right. The blade should be facing outward. This is called Yokochiburi. It is performed before doing noto. Your left hand should be on your hip, pressing down. This puts your strength in your tendon or abdomen. This is improves your center line and balance. Slide your left hand to your saya. Hold like this. This way you know when the katana slips in, you can guide it with your fingertips. Bring your sword to the left like this. The saya and its cut should be at your center line. Make sure the katana blade is facing up. Bring your right arm forward at a 45 degree angle and pull your left hand with saya back. As you do so, the tip of the sword should drop right in. Make your saya parallel to the ground and bring it forward as you slide the sword in. With the saya at your tendon and the sword in halfway, slowly completely noto. This is called zanshin and is very important. It means you are still ready to draw if necessary. When you complete noto, put your thumb on the tsuba. Bring your left foot forward and slowly release your hand in this way. This allows you to still draw at any moment if necessary, like this. When you practice using Bokken, let's do like this. Next, I will show you a more compact bato. Put your right hand on your sword. Draw as if you are aiming the tsukagashira right between your opponent's eyes. 
you are aiming at their center line. Pull back the Saya as you do so, then take the Seiga no Kamae. When you get used to doing this, you can do it very quickly like this. What is very important in both button methods is to keep your action on your center line. The only difference is the direction the sword is pointing. Then do noto again as before. Now, here is the last battle method I will show you today. Draw the sword at a 45 degree angle while pulling back your sire. Let the sword drop with its own weight. The point of the sword should be at your center line. Key is to use your left hand and left foot and hip and the sword's weight to draw. This stance is part of the Kaz method and I called it Mugamae, which means no stance. You achieve chushin or centering without a stance and you match your opponent's center line. And you can do this, you amplify your presence, you achieve strong stance and you have clean posture and you are firmly planted on the ground. Noto is the same as before. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Uh, What did you think of today's lesson? Uh, please let me know in the comment And uh, hit like, subscribe if you enjoyed this we practiced here. This is Tabata Hachiman Shrine at the Tabata Station in the Yamanote Line. Uh, I want you to practice in the Yamanote Line's Shrine. I want to introduce uh, each station shrine in the Yamanote Line. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye.